Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio, and with us right now we have our first guest. We have with us uh, Ramona Smith, and Ramona is the Toastmasters World Public Speaking Champion for 2018. Ramona, welcome to our program, Hello Kuwait, and welcome to the state of Kuwait. Thank you so much. So it's a pleasure. To be here. Pleasure Thank to have you. you right here, and uh, congratulations on this honor. Thank you so much. Uh, Ramona, tell us now a little bit now about Toastmasters for our audience watching right now who may not be familiar or know too much about it. Can you inform them a little bit about it, please? Absolutely. Toastmasters is an international organization that helps people become better leaders and more effective speakers and communicators. There are about 16,000 clubs worldwide, and we meet once a week, and we give speeches, and we take leadership roles, and some of us, like myself, we like to compete in the annual contest. This, this every year is the international speech contest, and that's the contest that I won. The program was started by a guy named Ralph Smedley, and I think, I want to say the early 1920s, and I believe he started the competition in 1938. And I'm the fifth woman to win, and this year, it's, it's never happened in the history of Toastmasters. Three women took the top three uh, places. Well, that's a great achievement, and you must be very proud and very happy. Extremely, yes. And it's so nice <laughs> to have you right here in the state of Kuwait. And tell our audience now a little bit about yourself, uh, your background, and, mm -hmm. and how you got involved in this, in this uh, public speaking and so forth. Well, I was a teacher. I taught high school child development and human growth and development, 10th and 11th graders. And after I won the contest, my life kind of changed a little bit. <laughs> and so I just recently resigned from teaching and now I started my own business to speak and travel and eventually to coach. I have a son, his name is Ryan, he's six years old and hopefully he'll follow in my footsteps and become an amazing speaker as well. I graduated college, I have a degree in public relations with a minor in marketing mm -hmm. and I hope to get my doctorate degree soon. I like to write, I like to read, and I like to speak, of course. Well, it's so <laughs> nice to have you right here on our program Thank and in you. the state of Kuwait. And uh, tell us now about your visit to Kuwait. How's it been so far? Have you met any of the Toastmasters? Uh, tell us how it's been. It's been great so far. I just got here yesterday, and I did one event yesterday, which was a Toastmasters open house. So we want to invite more people to learn more about the program. And I have a few more trainings and other programs yeah, where I get to more. meet. tell us more. What do you have planned for the visit right here in the state of Kuwait? I, I have, have a some lot. some workshops and things like that? Absolutely. Tell I'll, us in detail about it. I wish I had the itinerary here because I don't schedule everything. Okay. My, my team schedules it all, but uh -huh. I know there's a training in leadership. There's a Great. training in public speaking. There's a training on wellness. So Amazing. there are a few things. If we can get more information on my social media pages, and it, it, it's a lot, a lot, of, lot to see, a lot to visit, a lot to speak about. Well, that's great. I mean, I hope you have a very pleasant stay right here in the state of Kauai. I know this is part of a uh, four-country tour, I yes. believe. Tell us about that. As the world champion of public speaking, I have the opportunity to travel to all the international clubs who would like to invite me. So this tour includes Kuwait, India, Sri Lanka, and Bahrain, and a previous tour that I did was Dubai, Oman, and Qatar. So you pretty much visited almost already <laughs> all the Gulf countries. <laughs> yes. And uh, so uh, those, were, I'm sure, were very successful Absolutely. trips. And uh, now, since you're here and you are, of course, a, a world public speaking champion with the Toastmasters, you know, a lot of people out there watching sometimes are a little nervous, hesitant about doing any public speaking mm -hmm. or speaking in front of people. Or even for that matter, I get a lot of people who come on the TV program <laughs> who are very nervous and shy. How to overcome these things? How to you know, become a very good public speaker. And please take some time to answer that question, please. One way to help improve your public speaking uh -huh. skills is of course to find a local Toastmasters club. Get comfortable, find people who support you, who you are, you feel good when you're around and give some speeches and, and build that credibility and that knowledge through a program like Toastmasters. Otherwise, if you don't wanna do that, you don't wanna take that route, just practice. Practice in front of your pets, if you have pets, Practice in front of your family, practice at school. The more you get in front of audiences, the more comfortable you become. And then watch other great speakers. If there's a speaker that you really love, watch them on YouTube or go to a seminar and watch how they present and pick up things from them. Or, as we mentioned, get a coach. Get someone who can coach you or mentor you or train you. My name is Ramona Smith, and I can help you out with that. Okay. <laughs> but get somebody who can help you and coach you and help you get more comfortable with that. But the key to becoming a better speaker is speaking more. Okay, that's uh, very good advice. And, and have you always felt like uh, you're a natural at this, or did you have to work on it 
develop your skills. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that, Ramona. I knew that I wanted to become a public speaker or a professional speaker at a very young age. I was 19, but I didn't have the polish. I didn't have the education. I always had the passion, and I never had the fear of public speaking, but I had to go through that professional development, which Toastmasters taught me, which becoming an educator taught me, which becoming educated taught me. And there's different skills, small things that you Such need to as? tweak. Such as? learning how to pause, mm -hmm. because I talk fast, mm -hmm. naturally. And so I have to learn how to, first of all, slow down and speak. And then when I say something, pause so that the audience can catch it. Mm -hmm. Or other things like being on stage and how to tell my story properly on stage. Because anybody can get on a stage and walk, but if you're walking aimlessly and you're just kind of pacing, it's a little distracting. So little things like that to help me deliver a speech with, with kind more of stay impact. Stay focused and things like that? Absolutely. Okay, so tell us now, how do you do that when you're gonna get on a stage and you're gonna speak in front of uh, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, how do you, let's say, plan out your speeches and so forth? Tell us a little bit about your secrets of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I always start by trying to know my audience. Uh -huh. Who am I speaking to? What do they want to hear? I what think do that's they important, mean? like their cultures, like you've been traveling different parts yes. of the world, so you kind of research the cultures, backgrounds, things like that? As much as I can, uh -huh. but you never know until you actually get in, in front of the audience sure. because I've, I've made a few faux pas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing major, but just small things because in America it's a little more loose. Sure. And so just trying to figure out what my audience is, what they want, what they need, and also figuring out what I want to speak about. What's my title? What's my topic? And then organizing it into two or three main points. And then once I get my main points, what is going to be my call to action? What do I want to leave the audience with? I keep the audience in mind throughout the whole entire process. And then once I have my title and my points and I know what I want to say, then I practice so I can try to memorize it. Because using notes, I don't really like to use notes very much unless it's like a long two-hour training. Then I'll kind of refer to an outline. And then finally, choreographing the speech. When I say something, do I want to do a gesture? Do I want to do a movement? Do I want to do a power pose? So choreographing the, the movements to the speech, and then I practice, 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 then I deliver. Great to hear that. <laughs> and uh, you make a lot of, let's say, eye contact with Absolutely. the audience to kind of uh, get the gist of what they're feeling and how to maneuver and go around things. Definitely. That's that important, isn't it? Eye contact is huge. I, I've created this thing called BEG. I Tell beg the audience. Oh, okay. So B E G beg. Body language, eye contact, and gestures. Uh -huh. That's how I make that connection. Because if I'm looking at your face and you're doing this or that yeah. means you're bored. Yeah. But if you're like, yeah, that means you're engaged. And engaged, so that means you're doing well then. Absolutely. Well that's great to hear. And now of course coming to the Middle East and uh, the Arab world and public speaking, how do you find that? You've been already to some of the uh, Middle East countries especially some of the Gulf countries. How have those experiences been for you? It's been phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal. I really got spoiled in Dubai. I mean, <laughs> Very beautiful country, the beautiful. UAE, yes. yes and Dubai is a beautiful so city. Yes, Dubai is a beautiful city. I also vid visited uh, Abu Dhabi, and that was great. So just two out of the seven uh, states in the United Arab Emirates. But they, they all treated me so kind, and they were very welcoming. And it's been the same feel here in the state of Kuwait. It's just genuine welcoming like my house is nice your house. Nice hospitality then. Excellent hospitality and I'm from this I'm from I live in the south so uh -huh. I know all about southern hospitality and you guys are doing an amazing job so thank you. Well that's great <laughs> to hear you're welcome and we're so happy that you're having a nice stay right here in the state of Kuwait and hope you also have a successful visit to the other countries that you're going to and also a very nice trip right here during your presentations and uh, workshops that you may have and as we're Coming towards the end of our interview segment this evening, what final words or comments do you have for the audience watching our program this evening? Don't be afraid to follow your dream. Get out of your comfort zone. If it's something that you have a little bit of skepticism about, jump into it, dive into it, leap into it, take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid to follow your dreams because following my dreams has gotten me all around the country to meet so, such beautiful and amazing people. It's all about the connection. So be inspired and follow your dream. Well, you've been inspiring to all of us, and we wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you for being our guest. We'd like to thank uh, Ramona Smith, the Toastmasters World Public Speaking Champion for 2018, wishing her all the best of luck in her future endeavors. Right now, we're going to move on to our next report and take a look at the press conference recently held at the Kuwait Awqaf Public Foundation. Let's take a look at this press conference and see what was discussed. Stay tuned. <laughs>